for this one, if we want to identify, again, same kind of thing. If we want to create one, two, or no triangles. All right, so we, we, again, we want this to be angle, side, side. So I'm going to put B here, 57 degrees. Therefore, this is 10, that's 11. So that would be A. Right? Doesn't really matter, though, as long as you're not texting on your phone and your lap. So we're looking up here. If we want to figure out H, then we just say H is equal to 11 times the sine of 57. So I, shouldn't, I don't want you guys to have to keep on memorizing this, because it's not memorized. Like If you keep on doing it, you're like, OK, I'm getting this pattern. I'm getting this. So we do this, and we get h to be 9.225. OK, is, the opposite, is this opposite side of a shorter than 9.225? No, so that means there's a triangle exists, right? If this, was, if this was 5, we would say no triangle exists, right? If this is 2, we'd say no triangle exists. If this is you know, 9, we'd say no triangle exists. But since this is 10, it's larger than the height. So a triangle exists. Got it? Does that make sense? I don't think you need to memorize it. I think you need to just try some problems, and you'll be OK. Now the next one, before you start texting on your phone, is let's compare this with the other side. Is 10 larger or smaller than 11? Smaller. smaller. So therefore, if it was larger, which was the example we just did, one triangle exists. So now that it's smaller than this one, that means two triangles exist. Now, I do agree, though. At this point, it might think like you need to memorize all this stuff, especially if you're not paying attention um, playing your phone. So let me show you another way you guys could